Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a quick look at a brand new 2023 Salem 27 RK SS model here. This is the platinum version, so it has the fiberglass exterior on it. We're going to take a quick look at the inside and outside of the RV, close it up at the end and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we're now inside the brand new 2023 Salem 27 RK model here. And as you've seen on the floor plan, this is a rear kitchen, mid living room, front bedroom, kind of couples coat. So no bunk beds in this model here. This is one of Salem's most popular couples coaches. You have a lot of kitchen space. Let's start back here. So you have overhead cabinet space up above. You have Furion microwave. Furion hood range light and fan. You have a window behind your stove and that window does open. Nice looking backsplash. Electric outlet in the back corner there and then you also have a couple electric outlets over here. So plenty of room here to set up your you know, coffee pots, toasters, whatever you might be wanting to use in this area here. For cooking, you have a three burner stove top, flip up glass lid that kind of acts as a backsplash. Oven part has the light up knobs, glass front, again, light inside there as well. Another Furion product, it's a Furion oven. And then beside it, you have three full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. There is storage underneath of the sink and also some storage to the right of the oven as well. Double bowl sink, high rise spring sprayer faucet. Kind of looking back toward the rear wall here, you have down at the bottom, the electric box with your breakers and fuses. You have the propane leak detector down there. 10.7 cubic foot Furion 12 volt refrigerator. And then behind this door, we have a fairly large pantry area here. So you can cram all kinds of goodies in here. There's also an access panel down there that goes to something. We'll figure that out when we get outside, see what's back there. But quite a bit of storage space. Now also back here in your kind of kitchen area, you have your booth dinette. So, Traditional booth, it does have storage underneath of there. It's got little swing doors on the end of it here. This will make into a bed. The one here on the right, I actually have in sofa mode. The back of the booth comes off and flips around so you can make a large L-shaped couch, giving you some extra seating if you're in here with some guests wanting to watch some TV, um, or if you just wanna maybe lay down on the couch area there and to watch some TV. Big windows in that slide out area right there. And they use the pull down roller shades for privacy. The windows on the side of the slide do open. The large windows do not. Also for 2023, they went to a tented window where last year's model had clear glass. So a little different on the window there. You have new flooring for 2023 and the slide out they started using the woven material that they use kind of like in pontoon boats apparently uh, instead of carpet so a little bit different on that as well you also have a little bit different wood color wall boards changed up a little bit too furniture color stayed pretty much the same as last year's model um, you have two freestanding pushback recliners that come in this model here the end table in the middle is permanently mounted, but you can maneuver around the seats. Big window overlooking the awning side of the RV area, and that window does open. Now kind of looking down the ceiling area here, you have a Coleman AC. It is ducted, blowing throughout the RV. Straight ahead, we have the electric fireplace. There's some storage on each side as well. The electric fireplace changed up a little bit. It is now a mirrored front, where last year's version was not, but it's still basically a fancy electric space heater with some fancy lights. 
You can either turn on the, just the lights like I have here, or you can turn on the heat part also. Just above that is a Furion sound bar. And then you have plenty of room up top here to do a nice size flat screen TV there. It is pre-prepped for the King Wi-Fi Connect setup. If you wanted to add something like that aftermarket to kind of get some Wi-Fi set up, um, it is pre-prepped for that. So you can check that out on their website. Over here is your main entry door, and this is a traditional screen door entry door, but it does have a window in it this year. Last year's version did not, so a little bit different there. Down below, you have your fire extinguisher. Hopefully you never need that. Going around the hallway area here, we have digital thermostat for your propane furnace and your air conditioner. Slide button, awning button, because it does have a power awning on it. You'll see that when we get outside. Some light switches, water heater on gas. There's an electric switch button for the water heater outside. Water pump, gray galley black, and battery condition all right here. You have a light switch here, but this light switch is for some of the ceiling lights, but it also has a dimmer on it as well. So you can dim out some of the lights. Behind this door here is gonna be the bathroom area. So let's start from the top down here. So starting up top, we have the skylight above the shower. There's also a vent fan in here, and there is an uh, air conditioner duct in the ceiling there. ABS tub surround, pull across shower door here. And you have a foot flush toilet, all vinyl floor throughout the coach, except for the woven material on the slide floor. Let's squeeze in here, show you what this looks like from the other direction here. So here we have medicine cabinet area here, a little bit different backsplash wall board set up there. Sink area, a little counter space and some storage down below. But overall, a decent amount of room in here. There is a little cabinet area here as well. Stash some of your linens. Going on back out into the bedroom area. So swing door to get you in and out of the bedroom. You have a hanging closet on each side of the bed, overhead cabinet space. There's USB charger ports on each side as well. And the bed will actually raise up. And there's some little cubbies also a little shoe nook area down below those cubbies and there is a little laundry hamper on the right as well you can also get to the outside storage compartment partially from there kind of spinning around here looking at the foot of the bed area here you have a little closet area over here another hanging closet maybe a little shelf i think if i remember right up above that see yep so you got a little shelf space here hanging closet but a decent amount of room here for some of your clothes there is tv hookups and a backer in the wall so you could mount your small tv in here Also, the bed in this year's model for 2023 changed up a little bit size-wise. It is a 66 by, I think, 78 mattress, if I remember correctly. Uh, they refer to it as a Camper King, but I think the actual mattress makers call them Olympic Queens. Uh, so it's six inches wider than an actual queen bed, but it is not as big as a king. So it's kind of an in-between mattress size but you're picking up an extra six inches of width for sleeping.
Now we're gonna head outside here. I wanna show you around the outside real quick. So let's check out some of these goodies on the outside. So stepping on back here, this is the Platinum Edition version. And basically what that means to you is it has fiberglass side and rear wall. For a limited time, they came out with a free fiberglass feature uh, for kind of a promotion. It may or may not become a an optional feature, I guess you'd say. Uh, the standard is an all aluminum sided version that Salem's done for years. So here you have hung fiberglass on the sides when you get the platinum version, but your front is still a smooth rolled metal, whether you get the platinum or the standard. Um, again, limited edition on the platinum currently, so you may or may not find one close to you, but interior wise basically stays the same. Again, deep tent safety glass windows. You do have a large pass-through storage area right here. And over on that side is a solar charge controller, which is new for 2023 for the Salem lineup. Baggage door here has kind of a little dry erase board on the back of it. Black door, magnetic holder to hold it up instead of a plastic latch. They are using the quick drop jacks, a good cordless drill and socket. After you drop them down, we'll tighten them up, snug them up for you pretty quickly. There is also a propane line hookup right there. So you could do a portable grill if you wanted to and plug it in. You have the more ride step above entry step here. This comes down, touches the ground, rated for 500 pounds, where a traditional hover step is only rated for 300 pounds. That step also flips inside the doorway, so it's kind of out of the weather when you're traveling around or storing it. Large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the RV. Your model number is also usually located next to that large handle. Double axle unit here, Easy Lube Hubs, has drum brakes. Just above that, you have two outdoor speakers, you have an electric outlet and a cable outlet, and you also have your gravity fill, fresh water fill right here. But if you wanted to do a little entertainment out here, you got again, speakers out here, you could plug a TV in out here if you wanted. Now back here, you have your griddle and this right here is a propane griddle it slides back in there just above that is a 110 volt mini fridge there is a cold water spray port right here as well and then you also have your furnace exhaust out right here and there is a six gallon gas and electric water heater right back here you can see in the picture popping up the inch and a 16th drain plug in the lower middle, electric switch in the lower left corner, pressure relief valve in the top center there. Make sure you relieve the pressure before you try to drain it. Just above the window there is your vent for your stove exhaust. Now before I forget, just down here is your fresh water tank drain inch and a half gate valve, so it will drain out a lot faster than some of the other 3 8 inch water lines that some people use. Power awning, LED light strip built in, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff, and you also have a manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. Now going on around to the back, you have the traditional four inch square tube bumper on the back, optional spare tire mount and cover. And it is optional. Again, a lot of people buy these things, park them by the lakeside uh, and never want to use a spare tire or really the tires that are on it other than to get to where they're going. And they drop them and pretty much let them sit there. If you are a traveling person, 
it would be a good idea to make sure you get the optional spare tire. Most dealers stock it with that, but some occasionally order it without it and people don't know it. So make sure you get that if you want it. Up top in the center section there, you have prepping for the Furion observation camera. It is a camera that will go on the back, comes with a screen that you could plug into your tow vehicle and allow you to see what's going on behind you when you're traveling down the road or backing into a campsite. Really nice safety feature to have. Definitely would recommend that. Talk with your salesperson about getting that. Just up above on the top left corner there is prepping for the Lippert Stow and Go detachable ladder. So it is prepped for it, but you gotta buy the ladder aftermarket. That ladder basically is a telescoping ladder, comes down, touches the ground, attaches to that bracket. It's rated for 350 pounds to get you up and down off of there, where a traditional mount on ladder is only rated for 250 pounds. Another nice thing about it being detachable, you can store it in this compartment out of the way so you don't have to worry about any kids or strangers, whatever, climbing up on your roof and horsing around when you're not around. Detachable power cord, 30 amp electric service standard on the RV. It's probably about a 25 or 30 foot cord. If you wanted to do two ACs, you could opt in for 50 amp electric service and do another AC. Talk with your salesperson about that. Depending on where you're located at, you might want to consider a second AC. Slide out is pre-prepped for Soul Air slide awning toppers. That is basically an awning that rolls in and out with the slide out, helps shade the room, cover the room from like leaves, twigs, debris, thing like that from falling on top of it. So it really kind of helps repel a lot of stuff like water and things. It's not perfect, but it does a much better job than having nothing. So definitely consider that if that does interest you. Down below here is your dump area. So you have a single dump area, but you have three separate handles. So you got a black handle, a gray handle, and a galley handle to dump everything right here. Pull the black first, then pull your gray and galley to rinse out your dump hose. Over here, you have the cable and satellite inlets along with the freshwater um, tank fill, black tank flush also, or I'm sorry, city water use and the black tank because the freshwater gravity fills on the other side. The other side of the pass-through storage compartment area here. I'll step back here real quick. On the front corner is a couple informational stickers we're gonna pop up for you here in a second. But first, I wanna take a real quick look at the roof so you can kind of get an idea what this looks like. One piece, walk on roof, but up here you can see your air conditioner, plumbing stack vents, skylight, solar panel. They currently are coming with a 200 watt solar panel on the new version. Uh, so definitely a really nice bonus feature there compared to last year's version. Um, but you gotta get up here from time to time, inspect your seams, seals, check things out, make sure you keep water out of the RV. Very, very important, don't let it leak. All right, now back to the stickers on the front corner here. The first one popping up is your production data sticker. This has things like the VIN number, production date, axle sizes, but most importantly here, gross vehicle weight sticker. That is the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, do not exceed that number. Next is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line and it also has the length on it. Next, cargo carrying capacity sticker, basically telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed the gross weight sticker. And last but not least, tire sticker here telling you tire size, but most importantly, cold tire pressure. Very important, check your tire pressure before your trips. You don't want it to be too low because they'll blow out easier. On around to the front, again, smooth rolled front metal. You can see it is nicely rounded back. It's not the old school traditional flat front. Power tongue jack. LED light built in, manual override in case of an electronic failure. Heavy duty safety chains, two and five sixteenths hitch ball. 
You also have seven-way Bargman wiring plug that'll plug into the back of your tow vehicle. Make sure you got a Bargman plug on your tow vehicle and an electric brake controller in your tow vehicle as well so that you can control the 12 volt brakes on the RV. That is very, very important. You need those brakes. The camper comes standard with 20 pound propane tanks, which usually is a little bit smaller cover than this. This one was opted in with 30 pound propane tanks. Again, another option some dealers get or don't get. So depending on what you want, make sure you get it. There is a battery disconnect down here. Room for one or two batteries to go here as well, depending on the size of the battery. It comes with zero batteries from the RV Maker. It does come with one deep cycle battery from Couches RV Nation when you purchase from them. If you want a second one, talk with your salesperson about that as well. Lower black part on the front is a kind of a diamond plate material. All right, let's walk on back inside here and let's show you what it looks like all closed up here. So coming on back inside the RV here, we have to come to our little control panel here to our slide button, in or out. Pretty simple to do. So before you move the slide in or out, whichever direction you're going, you want to look around and make sure nothing is in the way. So your doors are closed in here, your floor is swept and clean so that you don't run something over and tear it up. It could be something as simple as a rock or pebble, screw, you know, grandkid toy, whatever. Something that gets trapped between that floor and that vinyl material will destroy it. So make sure your floor is swept. Or if you're going out, make sure there's no electric poles or water poles at the campground that you're gonna run into on accident. So we hit the button here and this thing comes in at a little bit of an upward angle. It comes in over top of the main subfloor and then kind of settles back down once it gets so far in. But it's quick and easy. Rack and pinion, 12 volt motor, hear that ratchety noise basically telling me it's all the way in. But you can see here, I come right on back here. I could still sit in my two chairs. If the dinette table was down, I could kind of step around and over to get back here to maybe grab a little something out of the fridge. It's not gonna fully open up, but you might be able to grab a drink or something out of there. I could still use my oven if I had to without opening the slide. Full access to your bathroom and your main bedroom. So if you're just stopping at a rest area to take a quick nap or something, you wanna come in, you can go right on into your bedroom, use your bathroom if you need to use your bathroom, whatever you wanna do. Um, but if you wanna use the back kitchen part, you might have to bump it out a little bit depending on what you're trying to get to. And then when this goes back out, same thing, hit the button and it goes right on out. Thanks again for taking the time to watch my RV videos. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Thanks again.